Assalamu alaikum. My name is Danish. In this lecture, I will teach you how to make a loading bar in C++ programming language. First of all, we open dev C++ software. Now we start our program. First of all, we use hatch include IO stream I explained hatch include hatch include IO stream library in my first lecture you can see it next library we use hatch include window windows dot h Windows.h header file is used to access the Win32 API function. API stands for Application Program Application Programming Interfaces and it makes it easier for the user to use the inbuilt functionality. And next we use choosing namespace std. and now we declare wide load function wide load we declare function next function is go to xy wide go to xy go to xy function we declare for horizontal and vertical position set now we write int main now we use two curly braces first of all we uh, definition of the function white go to xy Here we give two variables in text and int y we use two curly braces for definition define go to xy function this is a code structure code we write as this this is a built-in function built-in structure now we give object to this structure any object we give for example I give object D okay now we give D dot X equal to X we give X and D dot Y equal to Y X is for horizontal and by for vertical setting now we'll write set console cursor position get std std handle handle now use two brackets std output this we use for output control handle handle and now we give object we use D D is our object now we write object D okay go to XY we use for horizontal and vertical position setting that's why we use this function okay now we go to wide 
load function in load function first of all we take one character character type data a a equal to 219 219 ASCII code in ASCII code 219 is a loading bar uh, a piece of white we use for loading bar go to xy we use for setting horizontal lines and vertical lines for example we give 36 horizontal line space and vertical line space 14 okay now we set c out c out loading loading and then three dots backslash n backslash n And now we again set go to XY, go to XY for two spaces between loading bar and uh, we write loading. Now it's 36 and now we use 30, 30. 30 horizontal lines and 16 vertical line spaces because up is 14 and two spaces 16 okay when you run the code again and again when you understand better okay now we use loop int r equal to 1 and r less than equal to 20 we set 20 bars 219 uh, in ASCII code 219 a small bar uh, now we show in output r less than equal to 20 we set 20 bars r plus plus For uh, now, we again use for loop for speed int q equal to zero q less than equal to one and eight zero one two three four five six seven eight. This is uh, medium speed if we decrease zero then speed will be increase if we will we increase zero then speed will be increase and yeah, speed, speed will be decreases okay q plus plus and and c out less than b uh, a uh, we use a, uh, a variable for 219 character now we use a and now we check our program but uh, first of all we call in int main load function okay load function calling an int main load we write load load only load bus we use color uh, built-in function system we write color 1f 1 to 9 dark color and uh, a to f is light colors you can check it okay now we run our program
now we check it oh this is error occurred why this is error occurred oh this this curly base is not set up this is error because for curly braces is not we write now our program runs why this is now these are 20 bars increases 20 bars these are 20 bars r1 r less than equal to 20 1 to 20 bars and this we 80 for speed this is normal speed if we decrease 0 now we check it if we 1 0 is decreasing now we check output our output is very fast now if we increase to 0 1 and 2 now our speed is very slow you can check it our speed is very slow 1 2 3 ok now we decrease 1 0 and now we check our output now loading will start this is our program you can check it please like and subscribe our channel for watching more videos okay allah hafiz